My name is Mike Mitchell. I have a game called Hunes, which you can see over here. Uh, this is the expansion over here. Um, what it's all about? Well, it's an alien mining game, and you represent one of those little guys over there. He's a timid little alien, uh, and a whole bunch of his friends want to mine this planet over here. Uh, they want to get to these little mines and mine that green stuff over there. And that green stuff is called Substract. And this crazy stuff is kind of a whole bunch of useful things. It kind of, uh, it grows and it's, uh, you can actually use it for, for weaponry, you can use it for defense, and you can use it to give yourself a sort of a speed boost, like a sort of a super, sort of Superman effect. Uh, the key way to uh, mine this planet is to buy these little guys, which are aliens, on auction, okay? And as you can see, they've got a couple of uh, very nice uh, little features. So firstly, you can open them up, and I'll do that right over here. And inside of them, you can see there's a couple of cavities to store things in. You can actually attach things to them. So the first thing, that's your little control rod, which shows which team you're on. And uh, you can attach something like this, which is a special little repair device or uh, something like this, which is a little nanobite, which gives your guy some, some pretty cool effects. Um, and as you can see, there's a huge range of these, these aliens, which allow you to do all sorts of different things on the planet. Uh, the key thing is here, get the green stuff, mine aggressively, and win the game. I'm a game designer. Um, I do a whole bunch of other things as well. The key thing that I've, that, that, that's kind of pushing this game is I love animals um, and these alien guys have all got sort of animal traits. Um, as you can see, one of our favorite little guys over here is a rhino. Uh, where I come from, these guys are endangered. Uh, so we've actually made um, a whole lot of these kind of creatures. We've put them into the game um, because it's something I really feel pretty passionate about. So I'm from South Africa. Um, and we've been working on this game for over six years and uh, it's, it's, it's been a long, long process refining, kind of cleaning up the game, making the game work faster and smoother and it's, it's been actually amazingly fun. Uh, a, lot of, a, lot of, a lot of trials and things of course, as you always find when you get into the game design business, uh, but it has been great, it's been really great. It really feels strange coming all the way from South Africa, um, but we've had a great time designing the game. Thank you guys for checking out the game. If you want to contact us, we've got a Facebook page, which is the Hunes Facebook page, or www.hunes.com. Hello, hello, welcome to Quackalope. Thank you for joining us today. Mike, we're taking on, I would say, one of the most, I'm gonna go there. We're taking on the most ambitious prototype that's ever came across my table. Indeed, indeed. We are going to be giving you a gameplay of Hunes. Uh, and if you're looking across this, if you're watching the B-roll, you're thinking to yourself automatically, first off, holy cow, those miniatures are awesome. You don't even know the half of it yet, with sliding drawers and components that pop into the top of them. And these are all uh, resin-created prototype copies, so mind-blowing. You'll see them utilized both in the B-roll and throughout the course of this game. But when it comes to the heart of this game, this is an auction and bluffing, uh, combat slash area control, and finally, not resource management, resource collection game. You're going to yes. be able to uh, gather extract from the surface of this. I see it as like a planet or an asteroid that you've all kind of landed and descended upon. You're going in, you're mining out uh, all of this resin here. You're going to be either using it to buff and, and equip your, your own ships or creatures that are there on the planet's surface, uh, either using it to buff up their abilities or carrying it back home to, well, return with the most possible. These green ones here are going to be the ones that score us victory points by the end of the game. Correct. And if you're looking across the table here, you'll think to yourself, there, there is a lot going on. And in a way that's true, but... In a way, it's also fairly straightforward and simple. The game's going to be broken down into a few very direct phases. We're going to start with the auction and bidding phase. We have a marketplace here with some uh, giant Hunes creatures. All right, I just have to point this out. <laughs> 
with some giant Hunes creatures that we can we can get, with some medium-sized ones that can fit farther into the crevices here, uh, dig up some some different uh, different types of extract, and then finally some adorable little small creatures that might not be very good at attack and defense, but they can get into the cracks that we need them to, the far recesses of this planet's surface, and help break it apart just a little bit farther. So we'll start with that auction and bidding phase, where we take our capsules, we land on the location where we want to uh, hire or go ahead and equip the, the different Hune that we're trying to recruit. Whoever wins that, uh, spending, of course, your, your unrefined extract, will bring them over to their dock here. On their dock or on their mothership or your own personal play area, mm -hmm. that is where you're going to have your Hunes and then deploy them. That'll lead us to the second phase of this game, where we're actually landing on the surface of the planet here. Every player will take all of their Hune's actions on their own turn, landing on the surface here, digging up uh, extract from all of these different rift locations, potentially disturbing and starting to break apart the planet as we go, uh, certainly and most likely going head to head uh, in some, some combat sequences, um, mm -hmm. trying to not only defeat and knock out other players, but also potentially take control of them ourselves. And then finally, we'll do a little bit of a cleanup phase where we gather unrefined extract. That is what we can use at our auction. We move our marker forward uh, and we double check if any of the end game conditions have happened. This game will consist of three action rounds. So three com complete phases in the scenario we're playing here. Yep. Or 15 of these mines have been completely depleted. That means we've destroyed and harvested this little asteroid and sort of torn it apart in the process. The winner will be whoever has the most uh, of these these green extract tokens by the end of the game. Now, there there's a lot more going on here than just that, and really the best way for us to show that off is through playing it. Um, and I want to acknowledge right up front that this is, like I said, a prototype copy, and wow, this is mind-blowing, the amount of detail and, and just the type of uh, components that are going on here with sliding little trays and things that insert to each other and upgradable components that are represented both on your cards and on your hunes and dials and tokens that spin. I mean, all of this is just full of little toy-like modular pieces um, that pop in, can separate, can move around. Uh, it, is, it is insane. That being said, this is a prototype copy. And so we've spent some time with the designer learning the rules. Uh, there will, however, be more development between now and when you officially see it on Kickstarter. So the goal of this video isn't to be a direct teach. We probably, and I guarantee by the time this, this comes to the page, we will not have gotten everything perfectly right. Yeah. Mostly, because Mike, I mean, he's terrible at games. So <laughs> honestly, this is yeah. probably going to be easy anyway. Fair enough. But what we want to do is we want to show off how the game flows, what the intent of it is, and what it feels like to actually be in the process of playing this game. There's also some limitations due to setting up next to each other and filming. There's some actions, and we'll acknowledge them, that are supposed to be a little bit more hidden than we're able to do in this state. Specifically, loading your trays for the bidding phase, which I see him already preparing to do. Uh, and then also, when you go head-to-head -head battling, we're going to get our numbers in our own heads and roll those dice and resolve them uh, instead of doing a blind draw like you would actually in a, in a competitive game of this. Again, part of the bluffing aspect of the game. Part of the bluffing aspect. And then finally, all of those little inserts and trays and things that you see popping out, all of those are going to be able to hold, store, and equip resin. Uh, and what that extract is going to be doing is it's going to allow you to secretly uh, have extra defense or extra attack or equip some lasers or just do some more powerful actions throughout your turn. Um, so, bear with us as we, uh, as we work our way through this game. And that being said, this is, I was just super impressed and excited about this. This is not paid or sponsored or, or anything along those lines. I wanted a chance to sit down and check out whatever this madness is. So with that being said, Mike, are you ready to lose? I'm gonna try real hard to lose. Perfect. <laughs> uh, we're gonna start with the bidding phase. We have already gone through a few sequences of this. So we have a little bit of foresight into what type of uh, what type of hunes are available. On these cards here, you're gonna see a lot of different iconography. Those are gonna indicate things like attack, defense, their ability to move around, even some special powers that they have. What you really need to know as we start doing this is there's going to be one large mechanoid, there's going to be, there's going to be one large hune, 
uh, two medium hewns, four smaller hewns, and then four uh, technologies, which are going to upgrade or equip our ship. We each start with 40 of these blue unrefined uh, resource. We'll be adding them to our pods here, and then we'll be placing those pods down on the recruitment stations, trying to convince them with the most money we can give them to come work for us and help us uh, help this mine this resource. I see you already over there prepping stuff. That's right. Um, I'm a little concerned about it, and especially because we actually know what might be worth going for here. Um, I'm a little concerned. So let's go ahead and I'm going to set up my pods, and then all together we can start placing them down, right? So I've went ahead, I all my ships are down. I've made my mark. I'm uh I'm ready for this to start. I don't like I don't like that you just played that down. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Oh interesting. You're bidding for uh potentially first or second place. It should be noted that we also start with we do. our own human. We have one we have one little dream pog over here. An adorable little uh, little creature. And this bidding phase, like I said, we're a little bit more public-facing, but we didn't pay attention to each other. Uh, when you're playing with a group of people, you'll do all of that tray selection from behind your screen, and then all at once you'll start placing things down. Yeah. Um, so let's go ahead and start revol resolving this. Let's start with the big guy over here. Okay. So how much did you bid? Eight. You bid eight total? I believe I bid the exact same amount. Four, five, six, seven, eight. So no one's taken him. All right. That is a straight up tie. We keep so, our resources. Keep our resources. But no one, and I, I kind of wanted to play with this guy to start. Uh, I kind of thought maybe, you know, i just All right. see what happens. I'll set him. Uh, so he's discarded. I'll set him off to the side. He is discarded. Interesting. Okay. All right. Fog bear. Fog bear. I'm pretty sure I got the fog bear. Oh, yeah? If I didn't. Uh, I spent four there. How much you put? Eight. Eight total? Come on, tell me I got this. Four there, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. All right. I doubled down on the fog bear. Sure did, jeez. All right. And I'm just leaving my drawers out over here so that I can refill them with extract as I need. Fog bear coming over to me along with the miniature, which I believe is over there on the corner. This is, the, all right, I just have to say, spinning dials on each side, upgradable, up, upgradable equipment slots that go on the top of it, a lid that pops off so I can toss extract down into the center, spin it around, and let it drop back out. That's just so cool. Okay. Well, it's clear I won this auction. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and attach one of my control rods to the fog bear over here. And yeah, you won, you won that one by a little bit. I did overspend a little bit. Uh, I noticed that. Noticed that. It's okay. Who's that character you're getting? This is the mitochondrian scavenger. Okay. Which is this cool guy right here. With, uh, I just, I, every time we pull them, I'm going to show it off. Upgradable slots on each part. Put that control rod in the top center there. That'll show that you are running him. A drawer to hide Hume that slides out of the nose. And a little doorway underneath here, if I had nails that worked that can put a, uh, a little health chip in there. This is a prototype, stop. All right, we discovered all of that together, like sitting here going, well, what does this piece do? Right. And it's like, oh, whoa, that stores something special. Very cool. Uh, let's keep resolving these battles here. You're going to take both of the, uh, the clampets, which means you probably overpaid, but it also means that, uh, but it also means you have the ability to just explode some stuff as you go. And I'm going to take the clog and the other dream pog there. And I paid I paid a reasonable amount for both of them as well. Um, and I didn't overpay for them. Did you not? You paid exactly two? I did. Uh, okay. Um, and it's this cute little guy right here. I paid the right amount for the dream pog. I can say that. I totally overpaid for the clogs, though. I really like the clogs. I like their models. And I also, uh, I also have, I think they're just adorable. So, can I have those two cards, please? Oh, resource coming down. Clog and Dream Pog. Clog's gonna be this little guy and Donkey Boy. I'll have my control rods. All right, you get these nanobites. I did, so nanobites are gonna be like little med kits that live on your, uh, on your different mechanoids here, on your different Hunes. Um, and you, you can only equip, so I just gained three of them 
Um, but I can only equip it to one, and right now, I'm not sure that I want to... You know, I think I might attach it to my Dream Pog here, just because he's got space for two of them to be locked in. Seems reasonable to me. Yeah. No one bid on the two nano nanobites? Not so interested it's discarded. in discarded. You're just going to blow me up instead of uh, healing yourself? All right, well. And I did way overbid on the Sicked Eyes, though. <laughs> so the Sicked Eyes that you just got are going to be modifiers that pop into any of your equipable slots. Go ahead and show off how that works. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and gain my nanoids here. Yep, just pops into the top there. And now you can visually see... And then these little uh, health pack, these little health kits are smaller and they will, they're kind of like little tiny eyeballs or faces and they just slot into the side here. So now I have a little bit more health here on this pog. All right. Now the Fixito appears to be highly contested. Mm, I think I got it. I certainly hope I did. Let's see. Well, I, I got four. Oh yeah, you, you win. Already enough in there. <laughs> you win. <laughs> two, more, two more in that one. Uh, the Fixito is going to be another med kit utilization. So it allows you to heal or repair other people, take control of other people, then also, for me most importantly, potentially take control of your opponent's Hunes, because there is a chance that you will be able to hijack some, uh, some of your opponent's characters. And I think, how do I want to attach this... Uh, this little droid here. I think I'm going to put it... Yeah, I think I'm going to stick it on my Dream Pug here. So it just slots into the back, and now I have a fully upgraded and equipable Dream Pug. And then, what are you doing? Are you going first or second? Uh, neither. I didn't bid anything on you it. You were trying to get me to waste money there. I was. Uh. Clearly didn't work. So go ahead and deal out those first and second cards, see who which order we're going in. So when we don't have anybody winning the auction, these are randomly distributed. Okay, I'm going second. And I go first. So this is key because you're going to do all of your actions in a single turn and there's enough space here, especially in a two player game, that we don't have to go head to head against each other. But the reality of it is, you're probably going to want to set up good mining locations, but then also potentially uh, set up like a defensive space because you know that I'm going to be showing up. All right, this other mining corporation is going to be challenging you for your territory. Now, one thing I'm doing is, is before we start is, yes, you do this behind your screen, is the little drawers, the um, Hunes can hold substrate and use it as ammunition because this one has a ranged uh, combat or as shields. Yeah, so it can it can buff your shield, it can buff, I mean honestly, discarding substrate or discarding that extract is going to um, buff a lot of your abilities. It'll give you the ability to blow up like these characters do, yeah. it'll allow you to increase your defense, increase your attack, or do ranged attacks specifically. So I'm gonna... I'm going to add some of my own here as well, since I see you over there preparing. Well, I have lots of extra, so I'm just filling my guys up. You're just filling them up completely? Yeah. It's probably not good for me. So you'll lay down position on this board before me, which means I get to uh, actually respond to you, instead of having to worry about you crawling over the ceiling, digging tunnels, and blowing up in my face. Yeah, yeah. Not, not that that's happened. <laughs> what are you thinking? I think I'm going to come in here. Oh, and let me explain to them what they're seeing on the board here, since okay. we're now starting in. All right. Go there's ahead. two neutral characters, which we can take control of if we want. Uh, there's also varying uh, varying tunnels with varying width inside of them. So, or varying ledges, I suppose, because this is actually more an open, circular surface that we're on right now. Mm -hmm. uh, these ledges, you can see down in the corner, three very simple symbols to show small, medium, large. That will restrict where your different hewns are able to move. They get smaller the farther out they go. We have tunnels that interconnect to each other, B to B, C to C, A to A, makes sense. Mm -hmm. We have zones where we can mine up uh, the substrate. And then we also have our entrances. These little uh, sideways entrances here will determine uh, what size of character can enter there, but then also um, where they can actually enter into this board. So that's the, that's the general layout. All right, what are you doing? All right, I'm gonna come in over here go one, two, three. 
Okay, and you're doing that because your character, when it initially starts, how much act activation does it have? It has six action points. So six total action points, and they can be used, we have a, a chart here that kind of runs through everything for us, mm -hmm. but they can be used to move, which is the most common, to uh, mine one time, to climb, fly, dig, calm the planet down, extract dirty substrate, uh, or uh, transmit uh, and add technologies. So, you know, for the most part, you're gonna see most of the core principles there, the move, the extract, the dig, and the uh, encounter. All right, so I entered, I entered in here, mm -hmm. one, two, three, four movement. I have two left. I'm gonna mine. Okay, mine's gonna be pretty simple. You're gonna check the uh, top part of your card to see how many mining uh, dice you're gonna roll, which will be two for you. And then you're also going to roll a single one that is a threat die or, or kind of, you're disturbing the ground. Now you could overexert yourself, disturb the ground a little bit more, you will roll one more mining die and you will roll one more threat die. And I'm gonna go ahead and do that. There you are, good sir. So what'd you get here? Uh, first off, the mine is exhausted. That is from this symbol here, which means this is going away. Mm -hmm. Oh, you actually should have rolled one more mining die because of the location oh, bonus. Oh, that's right, yep. Ah, and that's good for you. So you're pulling up six, uh, six substract from there. This mine is going to be exhausted, and the other one here indicates that uh, some of these little pod-like creatures are going to be popping down on the board. So you get to decide where you're putting them. There are three different types of threats that can come out into the terrain here, and basically when you come across them, you have to deal with them. You have to defend against their attack. So. Okay. It has to be an adjacent or your own zone. Yep. All right, and then I have one more action, and I'm gonna use the extract, uh, dirty sub, subtract. Yep. And that'll end that. Uh, Hune's turn. I'm gonna go ahead and deploy the, dream pog. And he's gonna go. Enter here. One, mm -hmm. two, three. No, he's no, not. he's medium, so he can't. No, he's enter. small. He's small. Oh, is he small? I One, always forget two, the three. little. Uh, he the looks little pretty dog. big. Yeah. Yeah, he does. He's actually small, and he's gonna. That's one, two, three. Mhm. Mm and then he's gonna. Um, he's gonna mine. And I get, one die. Plus one threat die. Now you could overexert if you wanted. Um, I'm not going to this time. Okay. Two resource, and uh, that mine is also going to be exhausted. So I'll move that off. Now, here's the interesting thing. You've started pushing endgame a little bit. We're exhausting uh -huh. mines fairly quickly. Okay. And then my clampets. Where are going... you putting them? Now, you could run onto the board, grab extract, and run off the board again. Or you can hold your position, not leave the board, which is, looks like what you're doing. Controlling some territory and also... Uh, setting yourself up to get a benefit at the beginning of the next turn. I'm going to enter in here and go one, two, three, four, and camp out on that mine. <laughs> okay. And then we're going to come in and go and, clamp and camp out on this mine. Perfect. And that will be the end of my turn. So that's everyone's activation? Yes. All right. On to me. I think, I think we're gonna have to try uh, and convince that clog to join my ranks because I spent so much for that first clog already. I think it would be a good idea to try to convince this one to join my team. So I'm gonna start with my dream pog. We're gonna move in, one, two. I'm having an encounter with that clog. Uh, and how that'll work. So I'm going to do a repair action on him to try to uh, de-stun him. The way that'll work, I'm going to be rolling two d10s. Uh, black is going to be for me, red is going to be for him. Um, I am looking for the highest die roll, uh, which will which will just give me control of Clog there. So let's see what happens. Black for me? Absolutely. So I uh, redo the wiring just a little bit, my hand kind of reaching around and, and working on the electronical parts of this little creature. Discard that. Grab this. Clog is now on my team. And here's the cool thing. So my Dream Pog is stuck. Uh, he just did a repair action. He can do no more actions this turn. That's fine. I'm okay with him being there. 
Clog, however, can be activated immediately with a total of six activation. Uh, so Clog is going to start moving down this tile, and we're going to do a we're going to do a dig action there. So I'm going to go ahead and mine in this location, and I am going to do a risky mine, which is going to give me two dice to roll. And let's see what we get. First off, it's exhausted. Second off, I have a little bit of respite, so I could I could cancel. No, it doesn't actually allow me. I could remove. Uh, if I was adjacent to Lava Flow, one within, of these, within or, a, four. or a planted attack, yeah, within four, and I'm not. Um, so, two, uh, two of this substrate is going to come over to me. I could store four. that, but he's not able, yeah, four of this. I could store that, but he's not able to store any of them. And then finally, uh, this is going to be exhausted, which isn't what I wanted. We're, we're running through this planet quickly. Um, I'm going to use... I'm going to use his final action just to go ahead and grab up um, two more of these unrefined uh, unrefined substrate. And then let's go ahead and bring my secondary clog down here onto the planet's surface. Where can I actually go mining? I don't like I don't like your little explodey guys, and if I go up against them, they could trigger their explosion in that battle. That is the tactic I'd like yeah. to employ. Yeah, they're really holding... Uh, they're really holding the, the zone down. You've done, you've done a good job at restricting where I'm actually able to deploy. So here's what I'm thinking. Where's my A tunnel? A tunnel's over here. So I'm moving in. One, two, three, four. I have six total activations, so I'm going to go ahead and mine in that location. Uh, same thing. I'm doing a risky mine action again. Uh, another exhausted one. We, but we do spawn one, so this is going to move. You're going to be able to play down one of these locations anywhere you would like. Uh, and I'm going to gain four more uh, extract from that spot. Okay. It has to be done in a ravine space yep. that is like looks like kind of like a tunnel versus these with multiple sides are a node. Yeah, yeah, you can't put it down in the node. Uh, I... I really think I need to start dealing with you a little bit. This is going to be a medium level guy, but maybe I just want to focus on maybe I just want to focus on mining a little bit. Maybe I don't. Maybe I don't have to destroy you if I don't want to. I could do a ranged attack though. And you know, I think I, I think I will. So I'm going to move into this location from there. I'm going to do an encounter with you because you're in a visible tunnel directly in front of me. So okay. I'm firing my layers, lasers down. Now, I have to, behind the scenes, this is how I would do it, select which die I'm using, because for a ranged attack, and I don't believe you have any ranged ability, do you? No. So you'll just be rolling your defense, and for a ranged attack, I actually have to spend the uh, extract in my mech there uh, in order to do it. You can spend anywhere up to seven. So what's your, let's start with your defense there. What's gonna be your, your defense value? How many blue dice and how many green dice? Uh, four blue dice. Okay. And one green. Four blue and one green. Greens are going to be a little bit more valuable. That's going to be your defense. You could discard extract to add to your defense roll. Uh, you could add green dice if you wanted. I'll go ahead and add three green dice. Holy cow. Now, I'm not supposed to technically know that. Correct. But, you know, we're playing, playing an open game at the moment. Uh, for me, I'm going to use... Uh, I think two yellow and two red with the hopes that I'm able to get some heavy hits on you. Now that means you spent four I'm, extract. I'm absolutely going to be spending four extract. Uh, I also, since you're not attacking back, I don't need to roll defense dice at all. No. So let me go ahead and get that extract out of here so you can see that I have the resource to spend. So there's one, there's two, there's three, and there's four. My, uh, my alms have been spent... Let's go ahead and see what we can do. So I'll roll over here if you want to roll over there. What's your total defense? Three, four total? Five. Five total. I, I am going to be able to hit you. I got a six, a three, and a two. Mm. So I just I fire laser beams and rockets just collapsing the tunnel down. Uh, you are going to take a damage token. So remove that... Uh, Remove all of that extract and place this just on top of your control port there. That means that before you can activate again, you'll need to be repaired. Now, if you had your little nodes like I do, that could happen at the end of your turn, but in your case, you're gonna have to probably send a fix it down there to reactivate you. 
But if you get reactivated on your turn, you'll still have all of your move actions and everything. So I've done, I've done one activation so far. I'm gonna continue moving down the tunnel. One, two. I have a total of six potential. I'm gonna mine in this location. So what I'm looking for is one, one. I'm gonna do a risky mine again. I do not mind tearing this planet apart. Uh, again, again. All right, so this will be interesting. We are exhausting this node or this, uh, this mine. You are going to be placing another one down. So I'll move this up to six total exhausted. I'm gaining two from one of my dice rolls. And here's the thing. Inside of this little capsule, I also what's called have what's called a heart chip. That heart chip can carry uh, a gem in it, just like this. If I hold this gem to the end of the game, this is worth six extract points instead of two that I would get from this dice. So a little bit of pressure luck. If you take that over, you're also going to take over that gem. Uh, so it's going to draw it's going to draw some attention to me. I'm going to add this in, and I'm uh, I'm absolutely going to take that gem and equip it on top of my guy there. So I've moved one, two, three, four did a mine action. Let's do five. Uh, let's do five, six and end my turn right there. Now you can place that down wherever you would like. Okay, right back from basically where it came from. And then I have one more person to put down. I have a dream porg. Uh, come on little donkey. All right, let's see here. I'm gonna go to that mine that you just placed down and I'm gonna do another mine action there. So one, one, I'm doing another risky one. I'm sorry, this is, this is how this game's gonna be. Uh, no negative consequences, four more extract. I feel pretty, I mean, this pile, I don't need to like, I don't need to draw your My attention to it. My pile's not very it. big. Enjoy your job, but I'm feeling, I'm feeling all right about this so far. So that's gonna be the end of the activation phase. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to cycle this forward. We're each going to take 38 of these blue tokens plus one for every hume that we left on the board. Uh, instead of removing them back to your mothership, removing them back to your mothership lets you uh, restock them with, with, you know, with extract to give them more power. It also potentially is, is a much safer location for them to be um, because you don't know who's going to be taking the first action on the, on the top of the next round. So you could lose some hume if they're down here on the board if you don't have them secure. Then we're gonna restock this bidding deck, go through another auction phase, uh, scaling up the amount of people we have to play with, and then we'll, uh, we'll progress the game. Yeah, in addition to what we get for the next round, whatever we have left over, Absolutely. we get to use as well. And we could use green to bid if we wanted, but you are then spending victory points, which is usually not, usually not the best idea. No. So let's go ahead and grab 38 of those and uh, restock that deck there. All right, so I, I've already loaded my pods Whoa. here. I've started, uh, you were setting up this market deck. So while you load your pods, let me go over what we have here. We have two more fog bears out here, the adorable little guys that I was using. I think they're some of my favorite characters. We have the hover cataclysm, which is, uh, it looks like a giant mining rig with all those hands and stuff, but it turns out this is just a giant offensive, uh, offensive weapon. You can stack him up with so much public ass extract and then just reach and fire and hit and puncture everything and anything around you. So if you want to control the center or at least one of these pathways and really lock it down, uh, that that might be a good pick. Might be. Um, we have a Shrunken who uh, is going to be able to do a dig action. Pretty maneuverable there. A four-way Golter. Um, pretty interesting. This is going to have a few special abilities. It's going to be able to fly if it wants. And then it's also going to have the special ability that allows it to dodge if you attack it. So really maneuverable. We have a minor miner, which can store a ton of extract uh, and also has a health chip there, a little bit more defense. And then finally, we have an implosion bomb, which does a sweeping amount of damage to whoever is attacking you from range and someone else adjacent. We have a major gauze bag, which is basically like attaching an electrical current to your mining drill. Uh, and so you're just using electricity to rip up the topsoil. You roll more mining die, but you also roll more danger die. Um, granted, we've already been pretty rough on this planet. We have a secret entrance. Secret entrance is going to be an entrance that only you control. You get to select what size it is and you get to place it down on the board with your control rod. And then finally, we have a mining claw, which is just basically going to allow you um, to do a little bit more, you know, a little bit more effective with your dig actions. 
uh, that's going to be the marketplace. And uh, sir, once you're once you're up and loaded, we can go ahead and start uh, adding our pods to the board. All right, so we've we've went ahead and loaded our trades. You've got. I mean, I'm just, I'm not supposed to be peeking, uh, but you have a lot more over there than I do. Holy cow. You won a lot more auctions last time. So I had a lot of leftover yeah. substrate. Yeah. All right. I'm going to go ahead and start loading my ships and uh, and bidding for some of these. Now, this will be the real-time element here. And let's see what we can, let's see what we can actually secure there. Ugh. I don't think I need to get a ton of other creatures. I really need to, I need to double down and secure the ones that uh, that are going to be the most beneficial to me. I do. I really like these guys. I don't know why, but I like the clogs quite a bit. What are you thinking? What are you going for? I don't know. I think I, I might want to blow you up. <laughs> You're thinking about blowing me up? All right, well, I take this one. I thought you'd, uh, I thought you'd compete for that fog bear more. Well, there was a second one. I paid a total of 10. Good for you. What'd you pay? I paid six. Exactly the right amount. Great. All right. Hand over my fog bear, please. Oh. One fog bear for you. Yes, sir. One fog bear for me. Boom, boom. I do like my fog bears. Um, whatever you paid for this one, Merry Christmas. I paid 15. Oh my goodness. I wanted the big thing. Leave me alone. I also thought you might go for it. Nah, no, I'm good. You were talking about beating me up, though. <laughs> well, you know, a little... Now, I way overpaid for this. What'd you pay for him? Skrunky. Skrunky. Okay. I paid eight. That's not too Paid eight total. I paid 15 for the hover cataclysm here. And this must be the Skrunky. That is too expensive. No one, no one bid on the four-way Gottler. No, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't think I needed it. If I'm gonna be honest, but I do. I do, in fact, need this. Ha 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 ha! Again. A little whirling dervish thing. It's terrifying. Okay, I got the minor minor. It has yeah. all these slots as well where I can just load it up with resource. Look at that. That's pretty cool. How awesome is that? That's pretty cool. Does he have a tray to put stuff in too? Nope. Just these little uh, these little arm bits hold it. Well, I think actually inside of him there might be a... Uh, yeah, oh, in look here. at that. So as you spin it... So I can add uh, I can add pieces here, and really as out. you as you spin it, they'll pop out there. Look at that. That's so it's like pretty. a it's like a gauntlet gun. Like he starts his engines up, and you can see what's on each one's wrist, but then he starts spinning his middle point. All right, so we have a little contest con contest here for the clog. You have. I paid five. Five. What'd you pay? Uh, eight. <sighs> Just enough. I like the clogs, man. I feel comfortable with them, you know? <laughs> you keep that. I feel good about them. You know that, right? You keep whatever you pay. Oh, give me that five back. You're so used to winning. I am. I'm gonna add that to this guy here. No one bid on the implosion bomb? Now, whatever's going on here with Major, Major Go's bag, I'll let you open yours. I think I... What'd you pay, three? Four there and oh no, <laughs> eight oh, over here. Oh, <laughs> you stumper! So I'm keeping this. All right. Yeah. I really wanted Major Gauze Bag, and then I hope I got this last one. Let's see. I think I paid five. I paid four. Oh, I paid four as well. So you've got to be kidding me. No one gets the mining claw. You've got to be kidding me. But we do get our substrate back. I wanted the mining claw. I didn't want the substrate. Well, I did too. I mean, I paid four. <gasps> I wanted to equip this guy with a mining claw. That's what I really wanted. <laughs> oh, that would have been awesome. Yeah, right? Yeah. How sweet would have that been? All right, and then no one bid on turn order. 
Boom. Second again. All right. I okay. thought I'd get first. I should have bid. I thought about bidding. I thought about not doing 15 on this one. All right. I'm regretting everything I've done. But this guy's awesome. Look at him. It's pretty sweet. I can't spin his dial anymore, though. You got him loaded up. <laughs> um, okay. I'm going to start my turn. I'm going to use my secret entrance, and I'm going to put it right here. Okay. Because you won that auction, you get to place down an entrance that only you control, which sucks. <laughs> Although I don't, I'm not angry at where you've placed it down. That's okay for me. Uh, you got a lot of tunnel access, though, which gives you actually way more board control than I realized. Never mind. I don't like you. <laughs> All right. First act things, I'm going to activate my clamp it and go one, two, three. Mm. And he's going to blow up here. Oh, All right. Well, first off, you're not supposed to tell me that he's blowing up. Oh, that's right. Because that is technically a secret action. But we're playing, again, a little bit more open-faced. You're going to get three of these super powerful die and one of these uh, normal attack die, and you don't need to roll any defense because you're already announcing that you're triggering. Now, normally you do this behind your board, right. and you then spend your resource when necessary. You're going up against one of my clogs. All right, here's the thing about the clogs. They're great at doing a lot of things. What they're not good at doing, surviving. So I'm gonna get one straight up attack to dude back to you. You're disappearing from the board anyway, though, so I don't need to attack. I really just need to defend it's going to be three, four, five, six of these blue die. Or more. Six of these blue die. Uh, I have no shield, so I could spend resource. I have no resource. I'm just, I'm on these blue die. All right, let's see what happens. Uh, oh, I was hoping for if I'd got two of these, I could have escaped. Yes. Uh, two, four, six, six total defense. Tonight. Yeah, yeah, you've you've wandered into there, you've completely decimated yourself, but you've also added a damage token to the top of my little boy here. All right, buddy, old pal, that's right. too bad. That is too bad. I liked him. All right, my minor miner is gonna come in and go one, two, three. <sighs> and, okay. And mine. Yep. So he gets. What do you have in the drawer here? I see that one up top. Uh, there. Don't do be you, looking. Don't be peeking. You, what do you have in that drawer? Never you mind. Uh -huh. I get. Uh, I need two mining dice. Yes, sir. One, two. One environment die. You pushing it? Yes. There you are. Yep. Ooh, <laughs> six extract and two lavas appearing on the board. You can determine where those go. I assume you're going just directly next to you. Yep. Oh, yeah, there's a spot right there. And I get six. And, right. and that. when you've activated them, just turn them to the side, kind of tap them yep. so you know who you've uh, who you've used so far. I'm going to send this clog in. I like the clogs. And he is going to use his calm planet. Mm. And clear these out of the way. Okay. We're gonna move my other. Sorry, I've got a. Clamp it. Uh, I've got. Can would this be determined a miniature? Yes, absolutely. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's not. It's not very mini. No, it is not. And my fog bear is gonna come in. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Gonna be mining there. Yep. All right. What are you rolling this time? I will roll two and two. Two and two? Yeah. So you're pushing it again? Yes. All right. I'm a little behind on victory points. Mm, not anymore, honestly. Uh, three total. That port's going to be exhausted, and we're going to be playing down a new, looks like a new ravine token there. So the yeah, mine. New, new mine. Mine's exhausted, and we're placing a new one down, so I'll just reposition this yep. one. <sighs> we're Did going... Going right over here. Uh huh. Skrunk is gonna come in, and he's gonna attack. All right. So it's one, two. All right. Attack's not necessary. Yes, it is. I'm going into my zone. You're going in with my clog. All right. So this is gonna be a straight up head-to-head -head attack. Uh, let's start by generating. Your attack die. Now you could discard that, uh, you know, that substrate on the top of yours if you wanted to I earn will. another attack die. 
Would you like the uh, the more accurate? Um, yes. More accurate die or more powerful die? More accurate. More accurate is going to be your red. More powerful is going to be your yellow. Uh, I'll be attacking back. So let me generate my pile here first. So one purple, uh, six blue for my defense. I have no green and I have nothing on me, so I cannot discard. So let me go ahead and see what I'm doing back to you. Okay. Whole lot of nothing. All right. I just got to acknowledge that is effectively a pile of ones. That is almost seven ones. <laughs> Uh, I think you're going to be able to hit the heck out of me. What's your base attack? Six. And then one... So six defense, six, one yeah. normal, one green defense. You don't even need your defense die, though, because I didn't do anything you. don't to have you. an attack? I, oh, I tried, man. I didn't. I wasn't able to do anything. So, so you're rolling both of those. For three. <sighs> all right. Now I see why you shouldn't leave your, uh, your minis out on the board, because all of my plans... Are falling apart. I also should have bid like 12 for that first place position. Maybe. Yeah. Now you can take the substrate out. Now that was. Um, so now I have the ability to mine mm -hmm. there. So I will mine and I will aggressively mine again. All right. She's going to tear up the landscape before I start. <laughs> there you are, Miss Uh, that's okay. So that's two cool. two new mines are coming down, and you gain three. Mm -hmm. I get to place these wherever I would like. Who do I even have operable anymore? You have your yeah. So let's pop this here. Let's pop. Uh, I think I'm gonna be able to spawn. I'm able to spawn one more. Mm -hmm. Question is, where do I want to come in at? Let's stick this. Stick that right there. Okay. Okay. I'm going to go... I have my scabbler left. I'm going to go one. Now you're going to get hit when you go in there. That's fine. Okay. So we're going to be rolling eight of these basic die. And you're going to be rolling your defense. So what's your base defense? Is it six and one? Yep. So six and one. Now you could, you could discard substrate if you had any. Uh, yes. So here's your six blue. And I'll take four more. You're going to discard all four for yeah. four more green? Yeah. I don't think you need to do that, if I'm going to be honest. These aren't going to hit that hard. Oh, they're not? No. It's going to be a lot, but it's... No, the way I roll, I'm going to discard all four. All four? <laughs> yeah. All right. So you're getting four more green die there. I'm going to need it. Your defense is, uh, I'd say, nearly perfect. The attack is going to do a total of one, two... Uh, Three total damage coming to you. Yeah, I kind of needed. I have five, six. Not bad. Seven. You got enough to escape though, so you're you're perfectly fine. You'll be able to clear through this area. So that's one, two, and I'm going to mine over here. Mm. Now you did. Oh, you just went through the tunnel. Yeah. I thought we I thought we'd encounter each other. All right. No. I don't like the way you're playing this. <laughs> okay, so I get. I need, I get two dice, two mining dice to start with, mm -hmm. okay, and one, that, there, and then I equipped Major Go's bag, which, let's talk about the electric mining again. You're gonna, you're gonna roll, it's just gonna give you an immediate buff, one and one, so you're, uh, okay, you so got one two, more. you're gonna be rolling, so you're gonna be rolling one and one, and if you wanted to push it, yes. you could even do another totally. one, so if you're gonna push it, we'll add a, another pile. Holy cow. Oh. Wow. Well, this lets me equip a heart card a gem. with a gem. a gem. Yeah, that'll let you equip it. Are you going to do that? Totally going to do that. So let me set you up here. So this heart card uh, is going to be popped in under your under jaw here. Go ahead and stick a gem to go into that pocket. Like this or like this? Like that. Okay. You have the uh, the gem here. I'll tuck this heart card away in your little tray here, and then we will close up the door here. Man, it's such a cool, it's such a cool physical mechanic. 
And then I get six subs subtract. You do get six subtract, yep. Because now you chose I'm going to, get to the gem. actually. You're going to keep some on them? I'm going to put some in here. Don't you be peeking. Mm, I never look at anything. The mine is depleted. Mm hmm. And then we have respites for the other two. So that was a big win for me. Okay. So this goes away. Move the move our token up. <sighs> and that up to eight. We're beyond the halfway point. That's that your whole my turn? turn. That's my turn. I'm the, oh, right. and then I can't use my dream pog because it is damaged. It is. On to me. How many of my people did you damage? That's. I mean, you've uh, just a couple. You've wrecked a few of them. You wrecked both of my clogs, and I like my clogs. <sighs> Alright, let's start by summoning something onto the board. I'm going to summon this guy. I have an action of four. So, we're doing this. You want to you wanna play games? Uh-oh. Let's play games. Uh-oh. One, two. Okay. We're having an encounter. Okay. Straight up, head-to-head, -head, face to face Let's see what's happening. Uh, so I'll start, let's start with your defense and then I'll roll my attack. I'm gonna go ahead and determine what I'm gonna attack with though. So I have six normal. Um, let's see, I have six normal and I'm gonna tell you straight up, I'm gonna spend three of my blue for three of the yellow. The more, the less accurate, but more heavy hitters. Okay. So let's go ahead and roll your defense. Just because we don't have, in the prototype, we don't have enough dice to, like, sure. sequence it out. So I should get seven dice. Okay. Of the... Uh, oh. Six six blue and one green. Six blue and one green. Now, you could spend extract to buff your defense a bit. No. Okay. And do you, what are your, what's your attack? Because you're going to be striking back at me as well. Um, it would be four. Four of the purple? Yeah. Okay. And you could spend to buff your attack as well. And I will, and I'm gonna go for the heavy hitter ones. How three. many? Three of them? Mm -hmm. I'll spend all three that I loaded up. Holy cow. In secret. I knew what was coming. Ugh. Your heavy hitters hit though. All right, add up your total defense and total attack. I have, well, and this lets me escape. Yeah. So that's, Four, eight, nine, ten. So ten total attack coming my way. Mm -hmm. And you rolled, and you rolled two of those, uh, one defense, or if the human rolls two of these, escape. All right. So your attack dice are going to be. Oh, that sucks. So that is a one in ten shot, and you roll. You have to roll two of them together. So that is that is almost an impossible roll. Um, but you have successfully, you've, you've dodged my attack and you've able to slither your way into a safe, empty space, which will be over here. Mm -hmm. Now, one thing I did just realize that we haven't been doing correctly, which we can actually go ahead and resolve fairly simply, mm -hmm. is we've just been attaching damage when we get hit. Mm -hmm. We should actually be rolling these, uh, these other little dice, which will add a effect to that damage. It could Correct. be a destroy, it could be a, it could attack some of our technology, or it could just be a straight up, like, shut down and damage. Mm -hmm. So, I'll go ahead and resolve it for the ones I have. I think you've damaged two of mine, and I've damaged one of yours. Correct. So, my two, we'll go ahead and roll one for this one. Uh, that symbol is, yeah, that's what I thought. I'm dead. All right, I have one less clog. Uh, that's all right, I didn't need him anyway. This one over here is the one that I really want. And that one is going to be stunned. So that means that my control rod actually is removed from it, and he is now a neutral party. So instead of a full damage, um, he is going to be neutral, which means you could claim him with a heal. Yes. If he was damaged, you'd have to spend two in order to take him back from me. And then you're going to roll one for yours up top there. And I believe... I that's a Probably a stun. That's going to be a stunned and damaged. So yours is now neutral um, okay. and damaged. Okay. So pop this off. Now this means that to get him back, or for either of us to claim this guy, you will need to remove the damage and remove the, uh, the neutral token there. Yes. Okay. Pretty simple to resolve. I just didn't want to, you know, I'm trying to get as much as we can correct. 
this was spent. Yeah, and I told you I was spending three. So I'll go ahead and do that. And do How reset. cool is that? That's so cool. <laughs> I don't know why I'm just genuinely thrilled by the fact that I can turn a knob and tokens fall out, but it's like a Pez dispenser. It's so adorable. I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> and people love Pez. Like, you know, that's a big thing. Okay. All right, that didn't that didn't quite go how 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 I planned. So I've pulled in, moved to. I have two more actions left. I have no mining capability. I'm just gonna go one, two, and uh, center myself mm. right here in the middle of the table. Okay. All right, that's gonna be my action with the hover cataclysm. I suppose I could have chased you down though, couldn't I? I could have turned around and went after you. Wasn't that your action? To attack with him? The That was an encounter. But I could have, I still had some move left. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I could have turned around and tried to chase, chase you through the tunnels. Me. Yes. That's all right. That's all right. I like him, I like him front and center there. For the <laughs> uh, dream Pog. Where's my Dream Pog? This one right here. I'm going to do a mine action directly where I am. Uh, that is going to be, yep, yeah, just four. Oh, but this Dream Pog's the one that can also reclaim people. Mm. Mm, I'll start with a mine action, though. So I'm going to be doing a risky mine action. Uh, respite, and uh, we're going to be summoning a new mine. So you get to play down a new mine if you'd like. There is nothing for me to... Oh, yeah, I can respite this token right here. So I'm going to get rid of these creatures from the board. And I'm going to gain... I'm going to go ahead and gain four of this substrate. Okay? Okay. Where are you placing that one down? Seems seems reasonable. All right, that was one of my actions. I still have uh, a few more actions left. So let's see. Where do I want to move to? I could just go charge you. Yeah, let's give it a swing. One, two, doing an encounter with your creature again. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm just going to tell you I'm spending both of these for attack dice. Sure. Right up the front. Do you have anything left on him to spend? Nope, I spent it all. Okay. So let's roll your defense first. You're going to be rolling, I believe, what it is? Seven total dice, six blue, and one green. All right. And your attack, because you'd have your base attack of four purple. Because you get to respond to me. Yes. Give it a roll, see what happens. Uh, how much defense, how much attack? Three defense. Three defense, three attack. Three attack. All right, pulling over to me. I'm going to get four blue, one green. I'm going to get two purple. Uh, and I'm going to equip two of those yellow for my attack. So I'm going to go up against a 3-3. Three, three. Oh, God. <laughs> Swing and a miss. All right. Can you please explain what I just rolled? Uh, all blanks. Uh, that's what I like to see. How is that possible? I mean, it's probability. It's that's luck. The, that's the second time in this game <laughs> that I've rolled flat blanks. You know, it's all that trash talking about me losing. I'm going to roll one of these damage dice, which we remembered, because uh, you are hitting me. I don't hit you at all. Uh, and I killed myself. <laughs> I've done I done killed my own dream pog and this is the one that was equipped with everything so that was now I'm learning why the designer told me that some of those moves would be a little bit risky mm -hmm. um, I don't have control of that clog anymore so I'll replace that onto the board so all I have is Another Dream Pog up here. Let's go ahead and go mining with him. So my mining action is going to be two yellow, two green. Three total, and that's going to exhaust that location. We're moving on up. I'll go ahead and gain three. 
Uh, and I have my two fog bears. Got one fog bear here. I'm gonna go ahead and do a mine action again. Again, doing it risky. All right, creature attack, new mine. So go ahead and pull a new mine onto the board and two substrate coming. I'm gonna reach around the creature there. And the creature attack, I'm gonna place down right next to me there. And let's pull this guy onto the board. So you can place that anywhere you'd like. I'm gonna reposition this fog bear. We're gonna go, I think over here to that tunnel. I'm gonna spawn in here with this one. One, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna dig there. Ah, I'm gonna dig here. So I'm gonna leave this one right where it is. I'm actually gonna collect two, two unrefined uh, kind of dirty substrate from him. I'm gonna mine over here with this one. Again, another ri risky mining action. Ooh. That's not bad. Respite is going to be able to get rid of this one here because that's within four spaces. Uh, a new place will pop down onto the board so you can select that. And my turns are over and I'm gaining four more substrate. Okay. What are you thinking about putting that down? All right. Right there. All right. So I've lost a substantial amount of characters. I now... I now really need to win some of these auctions. Mm -hmm. So let's go ahead and set up our trays. We're going to be moving this down. This will be the last round. We're getting 36 unrefined substrate. And we're going to have a full a full uh, auction phase one more time. And then it's going to come down to whoever has the most, uh, the most resource. So here we go. All right. So I've, uh, I've loaded up my tray over here. Oh. Distributed some things. I'm ready for some bidding. Okay. Uh, let's see what we have here. We have a Spuricloss, which is going to be this skinny little, uh, almost almost a, uh, what is that, like a mechanoid uh, alligator type That's creature. That's what I'm thinking, yeah. Uh, we have a uh, Chanoblin Zack, long, thin, creepy creature. We have a Eagle. That is going to be that behemoth. Can carry 22. Craziness. I love it. Uh, again, that's going to be more of an aggressive unit. It doesn't actually have any uh, any dig ability. Interesting. They're going to be focused on... And the thing with the Sprigolus here, it's going to be focused on taking control of other units, not actually digging itself either. Right. So you have this weird combination of aggressive zone and territory control, while a lot of your smaller creatures are actually going to be your miners. Your mm -hmm. big guys are there just to defend the land, mm -hmm. which I think is neat. Uh, Chumblebee, adorable. Going to be another small miner. A Scrunken, we already dealt with that. A uh, Flappachap, a, what's that, Clampet? Yep. Okay. We have a Mining Claw to add to Dig. We have a Solic Shield that's going to make you a little bit tougher. We have uh, Mana Bites, which are going to, we have Nana Bites, which are going to be your defense. And then another Secret Entrance, if we're interested in popping anywhere in on this board. Um, I don't know about you. I'm ready. I'm ready to start bidding. So let the uh, let the auction begin. We went full force on some of those mining units this time. Yeah, they're they're yeah. <sighs> All right, let's see what happened up top here. I bid nothing. Okay. I was trying to distract you a little bit. Y so, you, all, you know what? You almost caught me a little off guard. Did I? You thought bit. about it? You thought about I it? I thought about it. All right. As long as you thought about it, I won't feel too guilty. I maybe should have taken him, though, because, you know, three for two heal. In, in the close combat, four. Four dice. He's yeah. not bad, but I didn't do it. I didn't do it. Uh, did you get Did you get turn turn order? Oh, yes, I did. What'd you put in there? Just one. No, just I two. did two. All right. Um, what are you doing? What are you picking this time? Uh... First or second? Are you going to end the game, or are you going to start the round? I think I'm going to go first. Okay. It's worked for you so far. So far. All right. Moving down here. Let's check our numbers. <sighs> what did you play? I hope I bid on the right one. <laughs> so here's the thing. My first one is empty. Oh, no. Is the second <laughs> one empty? No, the second one has some. But I was trying to get you to upbid. Oh, one, I have two, eight. One, two, three, four, five. I've got six enough to buy them. But all right, you take them. But I'm glad I got to. I'm glad I got you to upbid a little bit. Uh, that is this little guy. Yes, it is. Okay. All right. I fully took the scrunken. You didn't have a. 
didn't have the luck he wanted with him the first time. Decided not to get him. Hand me one of those little scrunkins over there. Oh, he's pretty cool. Adorable. He needs a... Um, he's adorable. He needs to be equipped with something. Yeah. Just so he can actually be uh, more effective. Yeah. yeah. Alright, let's see what's going on here. <sighs> this is the one that I'm hoping I won. What do we I wanted to win him because it's super cool looking mini. Yeah. What do we actually oh. pull? All right. Check out my drawer. Oh my goodness. I have 10. Oh, dude. I clear. I clear. Oh house. my goodness. Well, you really wanted that guy. I clear house. Flapjack's mine. Awesome. Look at this guy. Oh, and I get Like a flying drone with swords. Yeah, it looks like a frog looking thing. Yeah, it does. Okay, so I clearly, clearly won that one. What are we thinking over here? I won that one. All right, well. I'm just sorry. This You're sure? A, yes. I'm How are you sure? I'm just, I'm, I'm positive. What'd I'm you put sure. in there? A lot. <sighs> I don't know. That's not enough yet. Oh, Whew. never mind. Yeah, you get that, uh, you get that mining arm. Which is good. I mean, for this turn, mining is such a big element just to secure endgame. Yep. That's really what we're going to be focused on doing, is driving that driving that mining capability. And then you're also going to get your, uh, your little nanopods. nanopods there, just in case. Now, they really don't help till end, end of the round, but they can be utilized to go ahead and trigger a heal on you if you have them equipped. So you could apply them to someone that you have damaged on the board if you have anyone that needs to be... Uh, now, you don't have control of anyone that's damaged, though, so... No, I'm just keeping it away from you. Well, and if you get damaged, you're going to fight with me. And then everything else is discarded. Okay. Last round of the game. Uh, I'm going to attach my control rods. And uh, I don't know about you, sir, but I'm ready to see how this wraps up. All right. The Chumby is going to come in. Mm-hmm. And go one, two, and mine here. Mm-hmm. He gets two... Ah, uh, because he has the upgrade. Yep. All right. Your dice are right there. Yep. Two and green, in... one yellow. You're going to push him? I'm going to push him. This might be my downfall. Five total coming in and two more rifts. I get to select those. That could work out. I don't mind that at all. Question is, where do I want to put them so you can't get a hold of them? That. Let's do them down here because I'd rather you not have access to them there. You gotta go through my big guy to get there. Oh, goodness <laughs> gracious. <laughs> All right. So that was three. Mm hmm. I'm gonna remain here, so you have to attack me if you wanna mine. Yeah. Well, okay. All right, my fog bear is going to attack. He'll roll f this. So he's gonna be mining? Yep. Uh. Little minions popping out. You rerolled that. Two more rifts popping onto the board. Four total. Now you could, if you wanted. I think he already has a. Well, no, or does check. he? No, this he one does not. Totally gonna equip him you with that. Gonna do that? Yes. All right. You grab one here. You can go ahead and set that into the top there yeah. if you want. And I'm gonna set the two mines down. Now here's where it gets hard because I don't, I don't want to give you anything you can actually utilize. It's kind of my goal. Awesome. Fog bear. Pops onto the top of him. And then the... Uh, Got the skunk down here. Is the skunk on his face? He'll He's mine right too. here. He'll mine too. Mm -hmm. We'll do the same thing again. Uh, respite, it's drained. And four? There's nothing for you to respite. Drained upwards. No. And you gain four, okay? Yep, got it. And then, okay, he's going to stay there. I won't, I won't do anything with him. We will use the Scraveler. Okay, this one right here. Yep, he gets two. He's two. mining, so he needs yep. to move into C. Yep. All right. And then... So every one of your people got to take a mining action this turn. Okay, so that was one action, two to mine. Yep. So I get... 
four. Four. Depletes the mine. It is depleted. I don't think we're going to exhaust the planet, but we're darn close to it. And another mine's yeah. going to be popping down yeah. onto the board here, so I'll set that right there. And then what I'm going to do is, I have, that was one, two. Mm -hmm. I am going to shoot you. You doing a ranged attack? Yeah. Are you able to? Yep. Sure can. Mm, yep. Yeah, you absolutely can. You 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 need a you need extract on him to uh, to do that though. Yep. So what are you doing? And am I able to fire back? Let's see. With my Frogger, I am able to actually shoot back down at you. And let me just let me just see. Oh. Buddy oh no. Boy. Oh, buddy boy. All right, let's uh, let's cause some trouble. Now, here's the interesting thing. I also have range with this guy. Mm -hmm. And I have line of sight with this guy. Mm -hmm. uh, no, you don't. Your guy's in front of me. Oh, you're right. Mm. Okay. All right, uh, let's go ahead and start with my attack and defense okay. and see how yours resolve. So okay. my defense is going to start with six of these blue. We're going to have one of these green as a heavier shield. I am going to spend one for an additional green. My attack ranged. Here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking three of these heavies. Okay. Let's go in. And let's okay. make sure I can let's make sure I can pay that, right? <laughs> so when I start spinning this. So there's one, mm -hmm. two, uh, three, and four. All right. Okay, I'm, I'm able to pay the necessary price because I've been storing that. That was actually in there from the very beginning. Oh, right on. Let's see what we're doing. Okay. All blanks. Ooh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I only got three defense, but you're going up against a total of twelve attack. Okay. All right. What are you doing? Okay. So I'm gonna spend all four that's inside him. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna take. Four yellow dice. Holy cow. I'm going to hit some heavy hitters You're out there. You're doubling down on me. Okay. All you really need to do is hurt me, though. Yes, now I need to roll. I get six dice. Mm-hmm. Six blue dice and one green one. There you are. All right, so I'll roll my attack. Yep. And my defense. Oh. We're better. both hitting each other. Okay. We're both hitting each other straight up. Yep. Here you are. Roll your... Uh, I am knocked out, you are knocked out uh, and, and damaged. damaged. Yep. So you're going to be, so we're both stunned. Yep. All right. Woo. That's worse for me than it is for you, I think. Uh, well, remember, I, I do have a heart gem in there, so that does not allow me to collect that. Oh, wait, do you? I literally was thinking I probably should have just ran off the board with him. And back to my mother shit, which I could wait, 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 wait. Here's the key, though. Do you have one, too? I don't. Oh, it's in that one. I know I have one in one of them. There, there we yeah. are. There's that gem you should okay. have attacked. That's okay. I just wanted to slow you down. All right, and then the clampet is going to move one, two, three... And you blow up on I'm my base? I'm going to try to blow up on your big guy. Just see what happens. You're not going to do it. Okay. So All right. Let's, get... start, let's start with your attack and see how piddly it is compared oh. to... Uh, <laughs> so you're getting three of these yellow. Yep. You don't even need to roll defense because you don't need to worry about it. You're off the nope, board. But I you do, do get... get one additional purple. Yep. There we are. What are you doing? Ugh. <laughs> three. Man, that's three. garbage. What, should I even roll? I mean, I get four of these, one green. I could spend to buff. Mm -hmm. You know, and I've got so much up here. No, you spent that last time. Let's spend... Uh, no, I didn't. Oh, you spent it out of his... Yeah, I spun his Out I of his Pez dispenser. I've got so much on him. Let's just give me another green. Let's guarantee that I'm going to duck. Oh, my. A swing and a miss. All right. Again, what are the odds of this? It's your trash talking. That's the third, <laughs> like, five <laughs> dice blank I've rolled. That's crazy. And there's, not, I mean, it's 50-50 on the dice? I'm going to roll the damage dice. 
I'm gonna see what happens. Oh my gosh. All right, in classic D&D style, I've gotta is that, ask. Is that dead? I've gotta ask. How do you wanna do this? Explain to me what just happened. This little guy crawled up under your undercarriage and, 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 and you know, blew you up. I like that you did it in like, kind of a southern where you're like, well, you see, this kid, he got, <laughs> he got, the problem with your truck is he got up into the undercarriage there, and that squirrel, he had no, he built himself a nest right there, and you see, done. See uh, that exhaust port? Ignited the ignition port right there, and, uh, <laughs> all right, this game's not, uh, this isn't going how I originally imagined it would, because I also lose all of this that I had stored on him, and that's massive. I was just putting it on him for looks. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you could All have right. spent some of that more for some uh, more defense dice, by the way. Uh, I know I could have, but I didn't. <sighs> Is that your turn? I'm done. All right. I'm nearly done. You're dead. Who else did you kill? You're disabled. Awesome. All right. Who can actually do some mining, and where can I zone in? To do some mining. Let's start with my people on the board here. We're going to start with this uh, fog bear here. We're going to do a mining action right in that location. Two, two. That's what I'm doing. Respite is good. I'm going to use that respite immediately to cancel out that uh, mm -hmm. that attack on the board. And that's going to be two plus a gem if I needed one, but I don't because I already have one. So four coming over into my pocket. Let's move up to my donkey here. I'm going to actually move him forward one, I'm going to roll. 2-2 two, two again, doing a risky play. Uh, Newport is coming out. It doesn't really matter too much where it goes, but you get to place it down. An angry uh, planet attack is coming down, and I get to, if I could add a gem to him, I would, but I'm actually not able to. My Skrunken can spawn right there at the end can pull into that zone. He's going to be doing a little bit of mining as well. Same thing, 4-4. Four, four. Blank plus a new one. Skrunking cannot hold a gem either. Four more coming into my port here. You see, I'm not mean. I'm not attacking you. This will pop down onto the board. And I have one last one. I have the uh, flap chap. And I think... Where can I actually spawn that gets me to a, uh, a dig zone? Yep, that's fair. Right into there. Same thing. Flap chap, rolling four total. Fours, respite, a little bit of peace. Let's remove that planet destruction signal. Let's gain four more. And that's going to be end game. Yeah, your turn's over. My turn, because you destroyed so many of my people. Now, I could have, if I had, if I'd built up a strategy around healing and around attacking and defending, I could have done a little bit more zone control. I probably should have gone for that first player token this turn. There's a lot that I would do different. I, I think you needed to have that to... For my positioning, yeah. in order to shut you down. Let's go ahead and check our math though. So call your troops home, double check to see if they have any of their heart crystals. Yeah, this guy does. Uh, and check any gems they have. If they have green gems still remaining on them, those will also count uh, towards their end victory conditions. Uh, if you still control them. I don't think I have any more on the board that actually have any control. Yeah, these guys don't have anything at all. I gotta be honest, I think you might have, uh, I think you might have taken this one. Well, that looks kinda close. Let's see. No, that pile of green you have next to you. It's not that big. It's bigger than mine. Just by eyesight, it's bigger than mine. Oh man, there's a lot here. <laughs> yeah, there is. All right. All right, let's go ahead and do our count and then we'll do a few final thoughts and then we'll, uh, we'll wrap up this video. You got yours? Yep. All right, my final score is going to be 44. Well, I had 41 oh, plus 6. Oh, no. So losing, potentially losing. Did you count yours too? I did. So? So losing that one hurt you. But if I'd been able to regain one of those, I could have sunk the game. Yeah. That was way closer than I anticipated it being. Yeah. Like our squabbling on the board, me losing that, uh, yeah. that amount of gem over there, 6 total. Yeah, that would have that would have been the that would have won you the game. Interesting. 
So this has been our uh, our first swing through the world of Hunes, our first full gameplay. Uh, Mike, what do you think so far? What's your what's your first impressions here? Well, I'm not gonna lie. I you know it 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 seems kind of complicated at first. The toy factor is kind of intimidating in terms of of uh, working through the mechanics of the game. And when you say the toy factor, you're meaning all the little spinning parts, the fact that you can hide, uh, extract. Everything is modular and pairs onto each other, like. Each one of these control control rods and yeah. and all the parts and pieces, the tech you can buy with it, but it's you know it's sim it's a simple, uh, you know there's it, it's resource gathering. It's with it's player mining, interaction. It's from, mining and territory control. Yeah, like that's the core foundation of this game. Now, I'd agree with you. Uh, you know, first off, it takes up a ton of table space, mm -hmm. uh, and also looks. A little bit confusing, especially when we get to the end game and we just have everything spread out all over the place here. Could we more, be more organized? Probably. Yes. Um, especially with like little player bowls and dice trays to roll yeah. things in and stuff like that. But uh, I think I think there's areas that still need a little bit of development mm -hmm. um, when it comes to the rule book and, and how we actually approach the game. Some player aids to like reference turn order and everything yeah. would be really helpful. But again, this is kind of this is in the mid stages to getting to a finished printed product. But I, I genuinely excited about what is here. When I first approached this, I was approaching it as um, a lot of tokens with a lot of toy factor. There's mm -hmm. a lot of play factor here, yeah. which for me, I was nerding out on the entire time. Yeah. I love the fact that dials spin and mechs are big and I am I'm feel like I'm consuming and taking over and able to interact with every single piece I have on the board. Yeah. But then if we boil this all down, so let's erase the miniatures Let's erase the fact that there's some rules overhead and complications there that we need to pare down. Mm -hmm. Once we were able to get our teeth into the core structure of this game, I, I actually like the territory control and the, the mining element of this. Yeah, the combat's a bit intimidating with all the dice. Yep. Uh, but that leans into uh, the toy factor too, though. The fact yeah. that you're able to like have a handful and feel like you're just powering through. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's, so. yeah, it's, uh, it's a lot of fun. And it's not, it's not that hard. No. Uh, the dice, the colors ma will match up uh, based on the rules with the I the icon backgrounds on the cards. So it's it's pretty straightforward. One thing that I think this will need is is a good quality and in depth uh, strategy guide and how to play guide. Yeah. Um, and again, this isn't the gameplay we did here for Gen Con. We wanted a chance to sit down and show this off because normally. Uh, Michael is at Gen Con with a mm -hmm. booth set up to display this and get it in front of people. And this year, uh, given the state of things, he wasn't able to do that. Right. Um, so I asked for the prototype. I've been excited about covering it since last year when we first got a chance to sit down and talk with him and interact with him. Um, and this isn't, this isn't paid or sponsored in any way. Uh, I am excited about this game. I am, I am a big fan of Michael and just the work that he's doing and the time that he's put into creating. Um, again, one of the most ambitious and unique miniatures games I've had on the table. And I'm I'm a fan of KDM. Like, I'm a fan of minis games. Yeah. Um, I have boxes of them behind me. I don't have any that interact in the same way that these do. No. They give me that 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 sense of, like, Lego mechanoids or, uh, or what are those, like, robots that you can build as a kid. Um, you have, like, it just has this, it has such a good toy factor to it. Yeah. And at the end of the day, like, this is this is like this is like a thirty five year old toy. Yeah. <laughs> That's all this box yeah. is. Yeah, it's got it's got great gameplay behind the toy factor. I think so. I would be interested in sitting down um, and playing this game uh, beyond everything we see here on the table. Yeah, um, you know the other scenarios. Yep. This is your basic introductory this scenario. Is. Yep. It's really just the the two main concepts of gathering the resources. And the combat. Controlling your territory. Yeah. yeah locking down a bridge. Um, and we didn't see the planet fall apart. We didn't see everything become crazy. And I'm sure when someone is going through and parsing through all of the rules that we missed and the strategy that we missed, mm -hmm. there are layers to the depth and complexity. Some of the re-rolls I know we missed. Yeah. Uh, we definitely missed some elements when it comes to positioning and territory control, when it comes to strategy specifically. Yeah. Uh, me bidding for that first or second player card. Yeah. Uh, you know, those are things that as as this game gets more developed and as we learn the strategy behind how you actually control this substract, yeah. uh, that'll get better and better. Yeah. Um, 
so I'm, I'm excited about this. I'm, I'm super happy that I was able to play it and show it off. Here on the channel, I plan on doing a full interview with Michael. I also uh, fully intend to bring um, either a teaching video or a full review video of Hewn's uh, here as we kind of approach whenever the Kickstarter launch will be. Yeah. Um, so check the links down below. Check out that full interview. Hopefully you've enjoyed this. If you have any questions or suggestions uh, down below, like I said, this is a game that is still um, a work in progress. Mm -hmm. And so feel free to leave them. Uh, I know that Michael will be reading and commenting and I'll be doing the exact same thing. Glad you're watching. Hope you enjoyed this. Mike, thanks for uh, thanks for joining for our gameplay. Yeah, I'm absolutely. excited about the next one. Yes. Uh, and uh, whatever the case, whatever you do, remember to do the important thing. Get out and play some games. And I'll see you next time.